There are a bunch of different face shapes out there and if you guys are watching this video right now, chances are you're curious as to what kind of beard works for your kind of face shape. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about today, so stick around. Hey guys, my name is Austin for Volt Life Proof Grooming. Today we're going to talk about the different beard styles and which one you should choose based on what your face shape is. Now, I did one of these videos a while back, but it's a little bit outdated now and I thought we would just freshen things up by doing a real quick explainer video to get you guys rolling in terms of how to grow a beard that complements your face. So let's jump right into it. Throughout this video you guys are going to notice a certain kind of pattern and the key to getting a beard that complements your face shape is symmetry. Both symmetry in terms of left and right and symmetry in terms of up and down. And I'll describe exactly what kind of beard type and shape you want for your specific face shape and why it makes sense in terms of symmetry. But first let's talk about how to find your face shape in general. Now the easiest way to actually determine what face shape you are is by using a mirror. What you're essentially going to do is maybe put a little bit of soap or something on your finger and create a cross from the top of your hairline down to your chin and then another cross from one cheekbone to the other cheekbone and then all you have to do is essentially connect the dots following your hairline up here on your forehead and down here at the sides of your jaw after that just take that outline and compare it to the face shapes that you're gonna find online and you can pretty quickly define your face shape from there so there are seven face shapes that we're going to talk about today oval rectangle, triangle, round, square, heart, and diamond. So let's start with the oval face shape. Now this one's kind of cool because people who have oval face shapes can rock just about anything and that is because people with oval face shapes have usually a combination of both round and square sharp features. So with oval face shapes typically you're going to want to keep the sides of your beard relatively short and that just helps keep from giving your face too much width. And with oval face shapes in order to kind of enhance your masculine presence you're going to want to square off the chin at the bottom. That just gives you some angle, some sharpness to your features and it makes your jaw look more pronounced where it's typically rounded in an oval face shape. Now let's talk about rectangular face shapes. Rectangle face shapes and oval face shapes are pretty similar but rectangles are going to be much more squared off towards the edge of your jaw bones and up here where your hairline is. These face shapes tend to look very long and that's just because the sides of them have more length as opposed to the radiusing, the gentle radius that you'll get with like an oval face shape. This means that you're going to want to avoid beard shapes that give you even more length. So try and keep the length off of your chin, but fill out the sides. This gives your jaw some width without making your face look even longer than it already does. Now let's say you have a triangle face shape. By the way, the triangle face shape is opposite of the heart face shape where you have a typically very pointed jaw, but a much larger, more rounded forehead. With a triangle face shape, you're going to want to avoid fuller and thicker cheeks because you already have that very pronounced jawline. One good example of a beard that really accentuates that kind of triangle face shape is the beard where you have a longer kind of mustache but a shorter more stubbly sideburns and beard. This way you're not giving even more width to the bottom side of your face but you're instead evening out the center where it's thinner up here at the top. Now let's say you don't have any of these sharp features and you have a very round face shape. And the round face is generally characterized as having a very gentle curve all around the sides of your face. With round face shapes it's going to make a huge difference if you work the angles to give your beard some definition. You're going to want to go shorter on your cheeks but longer on your chin in order to give your jaw a more pointed masculine appearance. One example of that would be like a goatee with some stubble on the sides or you can go just a little bit longer if you don't like stubble but you do want that full bearded look. Just make sure that around the goatee area is much more pronounced and lo longer than the sides of your beard. Now let's talk about heart face shapes for a second. Heart face shapes tend to appear as smaller face shapes and that is because they're wide at the top but they're very narrow and they curve down all the way down the sides of your face and typically your chin is going to be very pointed. With a heart face shape, you really want to avoid having a really big bushy beard and that's because your face, because it's so small and because the sides of it are typically thinner, is going to get really lost inside that beard. And remember, you look best when there's some balance and symmetry when it comes to your beard and your face shape. So the key is with a heart face shape, you're probably going to look best with a shorter beard in general. You can go slightly longer on your chin and maybe square it off just a little bit to give your chin, instead of a pointed look, more of a sharp and wide look. 
That way the bottom half of your face matches the width of the top half of your face. And that symmetry is what is going to cause the beard to complement your face. Moving on, square face shapes are exactly what they sound like. You typically have very flat characteristics when it comes to both the sides of your face. For example, maybe your cheekbones are exactly the same width as the hairline up here on your forehead. And maybe you also have a very pronounced wide jaw. With a square face shape, it's really important not to over exaggerate the sharp angles of your face with a sharp angular beard. You're actually going to want to lengthen the chin and the center with like a goatee to add some depth to your face because square face shapes tend to look really flat and kind of one dimensional. You're going to want to keep the sides pretty thin because you already have a very pronounced jaw and you're going to either want to round the bottom of the beard or make it triangular to kind of soften those hard edges. The last thing you want is to have very wide bushy sides of your beard that's going to make your face look disproportionate from top to bottom. Now last but not least if you have a diamond face shape then chances are your jaw bones are going to be the widest part of your face, meaning you have a relatively thin forehead and a tapered or relatively thin jawbone and chin. The first thing you're going to want to do is grow enough hair so you can square the beard off from the bottom. And this will balance the appearance of your bone structure by widening the jawbone and the chin enough to at least match your cheekbone. Kind of the same way that having a shorter hairstyle actually causes your forehead here to appear a bit larger. Either way, I hope you guys found some useful tips in this video. Hopefully you're able to go to your nearest mirror or something like that and determine what your face shape is pretty easily and which styles would work best for you. Remember, these are all really just suggestions and modern suggestions at that, and they are totally subject to change over time or if you prefer just something different. This video was really just for the person who is curious as to what kind of beard styles they can rock if they didn't really have a beginning place or any experience to show them otherwise. So if that's you, then go ahead and try one of these face shapes and leave us a comment and tell us how you liked it. If there were adjustments you need to make and what face shape is yours and how you got to a place where you're happy with your beard, please hit like and subscribe if this was a useful video for you. We've got tons of other videos on very similar subjects as well as just beard grooming in general and you're not gonna wanna miss out on those as well as a lot of the YouTube shorts that we have coming. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.